check-in day at the hotel. It is August 23rd and I've been looking forward to this day since last Friday. We did the final inspection in the home. Everything was okay. I was only charged for the garage key um, door opener because I actually shipped one with the vehicle and the other one we've lost since we've moved in. So, but right now I'm getting ready to take the kids to school. It is seven o'clock in the morning and I wanna make sure I'm gonna make it there on time because I'm gonna have to go um, with traffic today. So hopefully they won't be late. Angel wants to walk to school with her friends, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. I'll probably just drop them off in school. But right now I'm just gonna have to come back to the house and or with the kids when the kids get out of school come back to the house so that we can load everything in the truck and check in at the hotel because check-in is at three o'clock this afternoon now yesterday was a a day okay i took brandon to his game and anthony's car window shattered into pieces the driver's side window shattered and i was like what the heck i mean if i can't leave this island any sooner I'm going to be devastated because it seems like a lot of things are just happening that shouldn't be happening and it's always like that when you're trying to go. So today I have to go find out how, if if and where I can get his window fixed because Safe Flight, they don't have any appointments for the next two weeks. There's another uh, glass window repair shop but I have to see if they have availability because we are supposed to ship this truck come next Monday. So these things need to be done today or sometime this week, but the sooner the better. And yeah, so anyway, uh, let me show you this room real quick. So I told the kids to make sure that everything is packed. So when they get home from school, all we need to do is load the truck. Brandon has at least five or six bags. I'm exaggerating, but that I think he does. Anyway, I told him to pack light, but he doesn't listen. So I have mine, the girls. And if I'm not mistaken, I know I've been I haven't been out long, but when you're on PCS orders, you get five bags a piece that are free, uh, free check check-in bags. So I have two, three at least. Angel has one, Kaden has one, Brandon has his, and then we have more over here. So that's enough of that. Let me go ahead and take these kids to school, and I'll see you in the car. So I sent Brandon outside to start the car. Brandon said the car was clicking. <sighs> See this one. See there's one or two things. Brandon, the error, <laughs> or the truck. And today I'm not having it. So we shall see what is going on with this vehicle. See some corrosion right here, which is not good. The truck is ticking when I turn the key. It's ticking, like what do you mean? You hear it? Okay, stop, Brandon, stop. You hear it? Yeah. On the side of the battery, that's a, a fuse box. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Open that up, take that cover off. Take that cover and then see if. Uh, and see, see if there's a starter relay. Yeah, to the right. Okay, so take that starter relay and switch it out with the one that says the auto shutdown. Okay, now, now give it a, a start to see if it does anything. Yeah, it's turning like it's a dead battery. Put it in neutral. Yeah. Change 6,221. I am taking my friend's car so I can drop the kids off at school. They're the kids. And then I need to get a Zaz car seat. And then when I drop them off, I have to come back and get a jumper cable because we don't have one. So I can see if I can jump the battery. All right, so I sit down. I'm going to get your car seat and I'll be right back.
right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You guys have a good morning. You too. Come on. All right, change 6,050. I bought the jumper cables. I had someone to assist and help us with the jump to no avail. So plan B, okay, plan C now is to go ahead and get a rental, which I was trying to avoid the entire time that we were here um, or the remainder of the time that we were here because Anthony had his truck. We were gonna use that until it was time for me to leave and it's just not working out so i don't have time to deal with the, the truck right now anthony is going to call a couple of his friends to come out and look at the truck and see if they can fix it on the spot in the meantime my friend is going to take me down to the rental place today and get a truck i don't want a sedan i need a truck because we need to haul all of our luggage to the hotel so i'm trying to avoid keeping the vehicle all the way up until this weekend so hopefully it can get fixed in a timely manner so i'm gonna go ahead and feed zai breakfast i guess i'll eat something too i feel like today is just gonna be a really really long day mm -hmm. brandon and angel, and angel is coming hello how's school it's raining i got a truck well you got the it's not the same small truck that you guys have been riding in for the last <laughs> month now hello how's school decent all right so we got the crew we got the time to hold i mean head on over to the hotel oh these things are so huh how do you get the um what how to get the truck i said no why'd you get the tarp where is it where do you think that's going i don't know but i know the tarp is gone brandon it's been packed away so well, they're in hard shell suitcases. They'll be all right from the rain. We need to go ahead and go. Well, you're wrong. I believe you. I don't think so. Much. Uh, well, short story long. Tashane took me to the rental place. I went to the rental and I got a rental and here I am in a truck. Ta da! Oh, please. No, we were trying to save money. Unless you guys want to contribute to the rental of this vehicle, then I suggest you shut your mouth and enjoy the ride. Here we go. hotel now I'm gonna give you a quick little tour because tonight will be our last night I will explain why a little later but I want to give you a tour while I'm here because I'm getting ready to take the kids to get something to eat they are very restless tired and angry so I'm gonna make this quick um, we have an ocean view room according to the map is considered partial where we're located but for some reason we're being charged an ocean view so this is our little deck out here and we are on the 10th floor and so when you come out to the right, you'll see the parking garage over there. So that's the Holicoa parking garage. And this is the entrance uh, where you check in. And then down here a little further, you'll have the beach access, which you can see over there to include uh, some of the other amenities down stairs. They have a pool, a bar, a restaurant, and um, and some other things they have a px here as well small little shop at um, so this is pretty much our view so we have a an adjoining room so this is the parents room and here on the other side is where the kids are staying so katie and Brandon, all the other children you all turn the lights on real quick. So they have the same room, a balcony state room, 
two queen size beds, I believe. Of course, all of our luggage, I'm sick of seeing it. <laughs> um, but a nice flat screen LG television. We have drawers, a desk for work, and a cooler. I don't know if anything is in it, no. Nothing's in it, but it is cool. It is cold. Of course, your standard coffee. Um, and your ice bucket. And my bathroom looks the same as the kids. Full mirror. And you have a safe. You have a small little closet. You have extra pillows here to include a blanket and an iron and an ironing board. You have a nice sink. Hello, it's me. And then, of course, complimentary soaps and lotions, shampoos, towels. Um, nothing here. Toilet paper, toilet tissue, and then this is the bathroom in here. Now, I have been in this hotel a couple years ago. They are doing renovations here. So I don't recall that this shower used to be one of the... I'm trying to cut both lights on. There we go. Um, I don't recall this shower ever being here. I think it was a tub shower unit. Now it's just a full shower, which is really nice. It's clean to me. Doors are heavy. Feels very solid. And you have a clothesline from one end to the other. If you want to hang your bathing suits to let them dry. But you have a nice little uh, waterfall shower head to include a uh, detachable shower handle. And there's your commode, extra towels, what have you. So it's a really nice room. Now I'm going to tell you the rates because this is where our issue came about. The room rate for an ocean view room, it depends on the categories. Category one through four. Category one is leisure travel. I'm going to insert a pause right here because everything that I try to explain in this video is probably going to come off very confusing. That day was very stressful for me, so <laughs> I'm going to do my best to make sure you guys understand what actually happened. I'm also going to put the room rate on the screen so you guys can follow along. That way I don't have to break this down in its entirety. But when I initially booked the hotel or made reservations, and let me back up just a little bit. When you're Oconus, you get temporary lodging allowance, which also means TLA. And your TLA will also depend on your status. So when you make reservations, you have to make sure that the room rate is within your TLA authorization. And your authorization depends on your status. So whether you're single, married, married with children, or you are married with additional children. Um, now, if you're single with children, you will get the married with children rate. But either way, that will decipher what your maximum TLA rate or reimbursement will be. So when I initially booked the hotel, I was there in person, I spoke with the clerk, and I it was no secret. I told them that we were PCSing and we needed to stay X amount of days. And at that time, they only had an ocean view room available. And as you can tell in category one, that's $179 per night for each room. And category one through three is considered leave and pass. That is the only authorization for that uh, room rate. Now, if you're PCSing or receiving TLA, TDY, you fall into category four. Now, I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, when I made my reservation, 179 was the rate that they gave me. I was okay with it. It worked, and it was within my maximum TLA, okay? And fast forward, when I checked in on that day, everything was going smoothly up until the point until the clerk had asked me for proof of residency. So I gave her my termination letter from housing. And I guess that letter s said something about I'm on orders or, you know, we're moving because she said somewhere in that conversation, I mentioned the word PCS. I don't recall, but it didn't matter because it wasn't a secret. We were going to PCS. But as you can tell, that 179 quickly changed to a 284. And that was not going to work because now we're outside of our maximum TLA reimbursement. Anything outside of that will be out of pocket. We're not trying to pay anything out of pocket. We want to get reimbursed for everything that we're authorized. Nothing more. And that's that. And I kept explaining to her that that is not what I was guaranteed at the time of booking. 
And that's a problem because I'm here. I have all of my bags here. My kids, you know, we want to be situated and we don't want to do anything else. She doesn't understand what I went through and it's not, it doesn't matter if she did or didn't. The point of the matter is this is where custom service comes into play. This was a hotel era, not, you know, I was not the issue and I shouldn't have been the issue. And I had a big problem with her not trying to understand what the issue was. She even pulled her supervisor you know, to come look at the situation and still they did not make anything better. And not to mention, you do have to pay for parkings. Parking at the hotel is $16 a night. TLA would not reimburse you for parking, nor would they reimburse you for late checkouts, resort charges and taxes, tips, room service, and etc. So if we were going to pay anything out of pocket, parking was okay. But as far as the rooms were concerned, that was not going to work. And that was going to be, I think, a $200 difference for us if we were to pay out of pocket. And we're not trying to do that. We want to make sure that this is a smooth transition and not a costly one. And needless to say, you guys will learn later on what actually happened because that night was supposed to be our last night. However, the next day, Sherelle, me, I was going to go ahead and speak with the manager and get this all situated because that was an inconvenience for me, a big inconvenience. And I wanted to make sure that um, they understand the situation that they put me in when they gave me the wrong quote upon my initial reservation. So that's that. Uh, let me get back into the vlog and I hope you guys understand where I was coming from. The hotel is nice. It's definitely conveniently located where the beach is. So that's a plus, but I think all the other out of pocket expenses is ridiculous. So change 6,052. We are leaving tomorrow. <laughs> and it's so, it's not even embarrassing. I'm just so tired because I have been just ripping and running ever since Anthony left, trying to get this house together, trying to get it moved, trying to get these cars shipped, trying to get the house in order for it to be clean and pass final inspection. Um, and now here we are. I had to haul every single bit of luggage by myself inside of that truck before I picked the kids up from school. And then tomorrow, I well, lucky for me, I won't have to do it because I have bell services, but I don't want to do it again. <sighs> so we had to figure out a different plan. And we've been hopping back and forth between what's going to work for us because we're leaving tomorrow. We're not going to stay another night here. We're going to go to, or originally we were going to go to the Navy Lodge on Pearl Harbor, but they only had rooms uh, available up until the 28th. We leave a couple of days after that. And we are going to be displaced again. So Anthony was calling around trying to figure out where we can stay that had availability. And so we're going to stay at the Best Western tomorrow and stay there until we leave which is great because i'm tired of moving i don't even care what the hotel looks like i mean it's not the best of the best but we're not here for anything fancy we're here to leave so that's what we're gonna do i'm just ready to get settled and just go i mean you know Halikoa is right downtown you can walk the strip um and that's nice and all but you know we're tired we're, we're really tired so i'm gonna stop babbling i'm gonna go ahead and see what these kids want to eat and then yeah, call it a night. So I went to Ala Moana and just got something to eat over there. Went to Raising Cane's and then brought, came back to the hotel. I went downstairs in the lobby and I checked out and they kept apologizing for the inconvenience of, you know, the TLA rates as opposed to why we won't be reimbursed for it. I'm over it. You know, you got to weigh your pros and cons. If you want to stay here, go for it, you know, especially if you're doing this for leisure um, or peace. Uh, going on leave and you want to stay in a hotel it makes sense that's fine however if you're PCSing if you can't get a standard room and that's the problem we ran into they didn't have any other rooms with a cheaper rate and you want an ocean view or one of the premium rooms then you know go ahead but you will be paying some things out of pocket but to each their own this is a nice hotel don't get me wrong I'm glad I stayed one night just to experience it before I leave but I am also ready to just focus on what is necessary and that's just PCSing and not trying to pay a ton of money just to be just to have some type of comfort so I'm just going to end the vlog here guys I really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you're not part of family think about it join us maybe and I will see you all in the next vlog until then bye guys